a westbound manifest, led by a rather recently purchased ES-44AC, approaches the overpass in the small village of Bottonville, milepost 197. The interlocking at Bottonville, located one mile to the west of the overpass, is frequently used to hold westbounds until there is room in Willard Yard. continues to pick up as a pair of Union Pacific units lead a heavy manifest towards Greenwich. A short westbound manifest meets its eastbound counterpart in Bottonville.
westbound empty oil train crosses Peru Center Road just outside Willard Yard. In early 2012, the railroads began seeing an economic boom in the use and transportation of crude oil to refineries along the East Coast. Most of this oil originates in the back-end shale fields located in North Dakota and Montana. BNSF and Union Pacific have partnered with Norfolk Southern and CSX to jointly operate two unit trains to refineries in Philadelphia, Albany, Westville, New Jersey, and Raybould, Delaware. This train runs from its loader in North Dakota, is interchanged to CSX at Chicago, and then runs to Philadelphia via Garrett, Indiana, Willard, Greenwich, Berea, Buffalo, and Selkirk, New York. After the oil train clears the interlocking, an eastbound manifest gets underway. Bringing up the markers is a brand new MU train set destined for the Metro North Railroad in New England. We're on an overpass at the east end of Willard Yard as a westbound manifest begins to depart. Originally named Chicago Junction, Willard served as a major point on the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad's first through route across Ohio to reach points on the east coast. The town was renamed Willard in 1917 after BNO President Daniel Willard. In 1998, due to its impending acquisition of former Conrail properties, CSX invested $50 million into expanding Willard, which included construction of a third bypass mainline around the yard. Willard also serves as a crew change point.
An eastbound manifest overtakes another eastbound waiting at Daniels Road. Eastbounds are frequently held here until there is room in Willard for them to work or receive a new crew. This holding train will be here for several hours before a track is finally available for them.